Welcome to this week's Monday Minutes. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse. And in our quest to go back to basics, we are going to talk about the all simple check-in process. This is fantastic, Jesse. Let's just dive right in and talk all things check-ins. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about some of the system preferences that drive what you see in that check-in screen. So Kelly and I have pulled up some of the ones that we're going to talk about today. Now, what we've done is we've just searched for check-in within the system preferences. However, know that you can go to circulation and look at those interface um, options that come up. Um, but we're going to focus today on just a few of the interface ones. So the first one is notifying um, at check-in if there are any overdue fines. So the options here are to either notify or not notify librarians of overdue fines on the items they are checking in. So again, it's helpful if that person is standing in front of you, you can know exactly what's, what's happening. But not necessarily helpful when you're doing your book bin in the morning, because guess what? That doesn't pertain to anyone. You're still yep. closed. Doesn't They're not there. Exactly. Um, num returned items to show. So by default, it's set to 20, and that will list the last returned items on the check-in screen. Now, Kelly and I were just talking about this. Again, if it's book drop in the morning, you might want to see all 50 or even 100 of those items in. So this allows you to adjust the numbers of how large that table will be on the screen when you're checking items in. Yep. The next one we have here is show all check-ins, and that gives us the option to show or not show all items in that check-in items list, even items that were not checked out. So Kelly, give us an example for this one. So this would be if, you know, you brought, you happen to grab a book, you check it in, it actually wasn't checked out. You're going to get that um, pop-up that says not checked out. Do you want that to show in that check-in, you know, grid at the bottom? Yes or no? Perfect. And then finally, our last one here is waiting notify at check-in. So this is asking if we want to notify or not notify librarians of waiting holds for the patron whose items they are checking in. Exactly, Kelly. This goes back to the one you just said. Yep. Do you want a notification every time you check those items in? So as it is helpful, it's not necessarily helpful in those morning book bin times. Exactly. So let's go back to basics. So we're going to jump right into our circulation module and we can hit that check in button. As always, Koha gives us multiple ways to do things. So we could start right on that main screen, hit the check in tab and keep going. So let's just check a couple of these items in. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit our little check in settings button here to the right. That's going to populate options dependent on your permissions that allows you to do a couple different things. The first is going to be specify a return date. So, you know, just a good example, we had a tornado and we closed early. We had a snowstorm or Kelly. It's just too cold to go out. All those Midwesterners <laughs> right now. <laughs> this allows us to come in. We can select a date and even a time um, and set that within the system. And then that would keep those dates as we go. You can also select remember the return date for the next check-in. So you could just keep scanning away and going within the system. The final thing you'll see here is an option to select that book drop mode. And what that'll do is that will take us to the last day that the library was open within the system. And Kelly, what is that looking at uh, within the system? So that's going to look at your Koha calendar. And it's going to look at your last day that you were open. So the difference for book drop mode and the specify return date, we're giving you examples of like, you didn't put it on the Koha calendar that you were getting a tornado. So you right. want to say, hey, I'm going to change this due date. Book drop mode, hey, I was closed on Sunday. On Monday morning, I want to hit book drop mode and have them all be checked in for Saturday and that not include those fines potentially. All right, awesome. So let's start scanning a few items in. So we're going to grab our barcode. Now we're all accustomed to our pop-up modal window that will tell us um, if a hold was found. And then of course, if our patron has any outstanding fines or fees, um, and then of course, moving forward and confirming their holds. Now, one really neat feature that Kelly and I were just talking about going back to basics how many people remember that we now have this option that we can print a little check-in slip? 
Kelly, tell us about this. It's fantastic. You know, maybe somebody drops something off and they just want a receipt to say, prove to me that I returned it. You can go and click that print check-in slip right at this moment. If they did five, you of course on that fifth one, click that print check-in slip and you're gonna be have all five. All right, beautiful. So as we keep going, we're gonna get options. This one is telling us we have the item that needs to be returned to its home library. We can come in here, hit that button and move on to our next one. So again, back to basics, our check-ins are easy. Um, you just have a few options now that you can customize and turn on. Well, and I, I just love when we do retain the information on the screen, we have access to the patron that's just one click away. If they say, hey, how many, have I returned everything? You can yeah. clarify because you have the number of check-ins. So there's just a lot that you have potentially information on the screen. So it's really fantastic. All right. Okay, well, thanks so much, Jesse. This is fantastic and have a great week. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.